Now, being a dog owner is very rewarding, but it can be very costly too. Fear not, because we have Nancy Creedon, and she has some tips to save us all a few, Bob. Nancy, always great to have you on Thank the show. Thank you very much. First of all, who is this? This is Takani. Takani? Yeah, he's beautiful, isn't ah, he? Yeah. He's a rescue dog from the West Cork Animal ah. Welfare Group. Um, and what's great about him is, again, telling people, just because you're adopting a dog, it doesn't mean you're not going to get a pedigree dog. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of breeds, all sorts of ages in rescue centres, mm -hmm. and he's a great example. What type of family would suit this guy now? Do you know what? Everyone's always saying that huskies need loads of exercise. Yeah. My husky doesn't, and this husky doesn't. He mm -hmm. doesn't pull on the lead. Mm -hmm. So really, any kind of family home that's going to have a little bit of fun would be yeah. ideal for a dog. You'll want to be he? out and about with this guy, though. You would, but again, every dog's an individual, mm -hmm. so it would depend. He's not as bad as some other crazy ah, no, huskies. No, 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 no. <laughs> it, beautiful, absolutely is, beautiful. Nancy, it's very important uh, to be grooming our dogs, yes. isn't it? For many reasons. It is, and grooming is, is expensive. Yes. So the thing is, for a lot of people, they're booking their dogs in for lots and lots mm -hmm. of grooms, and it's adding up. So for Takani, yeah. what we like to do, I'm going to show you now, you come down here because okay. you're eating all your treats, yeah. is grooming that you can do at home. Okay. So whenever you're grooming your dog, ideally giving them a licky mat, okay. this is a slicker brush. He's okay? distracted there He's now, distracted. that's the main thing. So for He's every breed of dog, using this slicker brush is ideal for mm -hmm. breaking up the little mats. Ah. If your dog's not getting matted, it doesn't need to be groomed as regularly, mm -hmm. which is saving money. Mm -hmm. So slicker brush first. Next thing you're doing, and this is my favourite tool what in is the that? world. This is a dematting comb. Okay. So what this does is if your dog does have mats, this part's smooth, this part's sharp, mm -hmm. slides in under the mats and just jiggles them out. Yeah. How do you mean mats now? As in so any knots, any knots, tangles okay. behind their ears or yeah. in their bum. And the yeah. thing is, a lot of dogs go in for regular grooming because they're matted. Yeah. So if you can get rid of the mats, you're saving yeah. a little bit of money and you're stretching it out. So this is brilliant. Slides in smooth along their coat, under the mat, yeah. and then you just need to jiggle the mat out. Is it, is it sharp, Nancy? Do you have to be careful Sharp on it? this side. Okay. But this is why I love it. It's okay. smooth on this side, on so side. it doesn't hurt the dog. Ah. And it's easy to use at home. Yeah. Okay. That's why I love these. Love so it. in under the mat and jiggle, jiggle. And then finally, we use our rake. So a rake? A rake. I've heard it all now, Nancy. It's not a garden this is, rake. This, 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 this is pure pampering altogether for the dog. <laughs> but these are brilliant. So not a yeah. garden rake, a dog yeah. grooming rake. And for a dog like Takani, it's getting a lot of the hair out. Mm -hmm. And a dog that needs regular grooming again, this then, once you break the mats up smaller with yeah. the dematting comb, you rake out what's left mm -hmm. of the mats, and then your are dog there, is dematted. Are there certain dogs that would need this more often? Oh, yes. Yeah. Anything with poo in it. And by that, I mean cockapoo, <laughs> um, all these kind of breeds, but the poo is the poodly coat. That's a curly coat. So if your dog has poo in it, then you want to get it groomed regularly. And if you're grooming it regularly, <laughs> you should be doing this at home. So if the dog has poo in the name of the yes. dog, okay, or the breed of the dog, yes. okay, it'll need we a bit more attention. avoid it if you don't want to groom a lot. But, but I, I think, it's t it's, I think it, it can be therapeutic as well for the owner as well, because you seem to be very happy there now, Nancy, as well. I like grooming if yeah. the dog likes grooming. Okay. And if there's food involved, most dogs like yeah. grooming. Are there any dogs that don't like grooming? Anything with poo in it. <laughs> okay, they don't, okay. okay because if it. anything with the curly coats yeah. generally gets quite matted if you're not yeah. doing this at home. Yeah. And if they're matted, it hurts when you groom them. Okay, oh, so you do this that. at home yeah. and that'll spread yeah. out the time between the grooms. Yeah, it's a good time as well to check for fleas, Nancy. Yes, so checking for fleas. You are just mad for these trees. You're starving. When you're checking for fleas, mm -hmm. the good thing to do here is to get a bit of tissue, mm -hmm. wet it, yeah. and then what you're going to do is generally fleas will hang out at the base of the dog's spine. Mm -hmm. so so I'll show you there now. Why do they hang out there, Nancy? Because the dog can't scratch there. So they're sneaky little buggers. So what you want to do is get your wet tissue and just wipe in around this area. Yeah. And what you'll find is if the tissue goes red, yeah. which it doesn't, that's flea poo. More poo again. <laughs> and the flea poo is red because obviously the fleas are eating blood. Okay. Um, so that's the way then you can tell if your dog has fleas. And then you're going to treat them. Very first. interesting. I didn't realise those fleas were as clever as, as they, are. they are. Well, I mean, that's how they survive, mm -hmm. isn't it? So, yeah. yeah, so the base of the dog's spine, yeah. wet tissue, and then you'll see if there's any poop down. Nancy, we're going to move on to a, a, a piece that I, I'm kind of a bit Ugh! about, right? And that's the nails. Oh, oh my nails. God. Like, and I think lots of people are like this as well, because you don't want to hurt the dog, you don't want to draw no. blood. How do you do it properly? Honestly, never clip your dog's nails at home yourself. That's something that you shouldn't do at home. But what you can do is things like walking on concrete, throwing the ball on concrete, and that will keep the nails filed down. So especially Naturally. a bigger... Yes, So exactly. then you won't have to do it at all? You keep an eye on it, okay. and you may, their little thumbnails, their dew claws may occasionally mm -hmm. need clipping, yeah. but especially bigger dogs like Takani, if he's walking on concrete, that will keep it's them fine. They'll file them, yes. file them down naturally. You should be fine, but keep an eye on it. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Now, what, what if you want a really good-smelling dog now? Uh, dry shampoo. 
Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. So again, a dog like Takani doesn't mm -hmm. need that much grooming. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get them washed, you're yeah. paying the groomers again. So a dry shampoo will yeah. allow that dog to stay clean, yeah. smell fresh, and it's doggy dry shampoo. You yeah. are just obsessed with this. I come here, Nancy, what about, like say, when I think of dogs inside in the bath, I think of Beethoven, the movie. <laughs> where the dog goes into the bath and all of a sudden shakes off that all happens. over the bedroom. That Should happens. you put your dog into a bath like that? So really, you shouldn't be washing your dog any more frequently than every six weeks, which is still quite frequent. Okay. So yes, you can groom them in the bath, putting a licky mat like we're using here for Tiffany yeah. into the bath to keep them that little bit calmer and have your towels ready. Have your towels, have ready. Your towels ready. But again, the dry shampoo is what I always use with my dogs. It's yeah. so much easier. You just spray them all over, wipe them down mm. with a towel. They smell lovely and they're yeah. much cleaner again. Uh. Why should you not wash them every six You're weeks? stripping the oils on their yeah. coats okay. and they don't need it. They don't I mean, need that. dogs in the olden days weren't washed not that frequently. At all. Not only when they jumped into the rivers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Swamps, and that was them clean. Yeah. Nancy, loads of people got in contact with the show, of course. Uh, we have a question here from Annette Nagel. Hi, Dahi. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Um, <laughs> this is Spud and Molly, the other rescue. And they're both rescues. But one of Spud's favourite things to do is to play with the ball. And the only problem is he chews them. So you end up with loads of little bits gone off them or they're in smithereens completely. So is there any tips you have to stop him from um, tearing the ball apart and obviously ingesting some of the pieces? So anything, any kind of tips you could give me would be great. Thanks a million. There's Spud and Molly. So dogs damaging toys yeah. is one of the big costs that people face because mm -hmm. they're damaging their toys. As soon as they get them, then you're buying new toys. Yes. So what I like to do is recycling toys, mm -hmm. okay? So anything that you have in your recycling can often become a toy for dogs, which is why we have these little water bottles, mm -hmm. okay? Now, what I like to make here... I've retitled, oh. I've retitled it a octopus. Are they John Creedon so, socks? <laughs> they could possibly be. So basically what you're trying to do is make an octopus out of these socks. Oh. But what you're going to do is we're going to put bottles into the socks. And the reason bottles, yeah, they're noisy. Nice. Oh, so noisy. Yes. And again, like Annette, she could put her tennis balls in here. Mm -hmm. Any kind of stuffed toys that they have, you could stuff the toys back in here. Mm -hmm. Anything that they're going to damage. It's okay. Dogs are meant to destroy stuff. It's yeah. natural for them to do. Just to give them the proper things to destroy. Yeah, them. exactly. And things that don't cost money. Yeah. So with your sock to puss, you just put empty bottles into the sock. I think it's I a great thing. And then even just a hair bobbin. Yeah, tie it all together. If you're a better um, at kind of make and do, you could sew the top do you know, of the clothes. Do you know what? I think that's just perfect. I love because it. Because it's lovely and colourful. Yeah, full of everybody noise. has odd socks. Yes, certainly I do. I have a for lot some, of odd For socks. some reason, we all do. Do you know what I'd be worried about there with the dogs chewing the balls is that they'd actually are swallowing the plastic yeah. and all of a sudden it's inside their stomach. And, and that's what she said, that yeah. the dogs are ingesting it. So it is yeah. something that you need to always keep an eye on your dog when they're playing with toys. Yeah. But giving them something like this, the bottles make noise. Yeah. You could always put a little bit of a treat inside in it too. Yeah. And once they're in the mood for playing, I think Takani's way too focused on the treats yeah. right now. But when they're in the mood for playing something like that, they can shake around the house, they can make the noise and they can destroy it and it yeah. hasn't cost you a penny. No, Nancy, speak about, talking about costing pennies and money and so on and so forth. Dog trainers, they can be very, very expensive but you can make your own DIY thing at home. DIY dog training yeah. is a great idea because training increases the bond mm -hmm. with your dog. It's great to entertain the kids, but it is expensive yeah. going to training classes. We, we, we have a bit of a course, a homemade course we made do. here, Nancy. We're going to have a look at it. So we're going to start with the tins. We all have these tins of... Of fruit or beans, beans or something anything. at home. So yeah. what you do here, get him so, to walk in and yeah. out. So you get your little treat and have the dog follow you weaving in mm -hmm. and out. So you can buy expensive weave poles for agility or mm -hmm. you can get your tins of beans. Yeah. So that's a nice cheap way to do it. An empty cardboard box, which we all have from mm -hmm. Amazon. You open that up and that's now a tunnel for your dog. Uh -huh. And again, your sweeping brush and books makes a great little doggy jump. So your kids can spend hours putting this together, playing with the dog, tires your dog out, gets them yeah. thinking, and it's free. Yeah, and Nancy, again, everything back into the house again. You don't have to be going out to all these expensive No, no. Places but the important thing is you're doing the time with your yeah. dog, you're doing the training, you're having that bonding experience, but it doesn't have to cost. Mm -hmm. Nancy Gurumila, always great to have you on the show. If you have any questions at all for Nancy, please do email us today at rte.ie.